Okay, so I got my uh, IP cop up and running. I uh, shut it down because I want to modify it. I went to uh, settings, and the uh, RAM is currently set towards 32 megabytes. Uh, originally, I had set it up with two cards. The first one local only, the second one my real card. I'm going to turn it on. You can watch how quickly it boots off of 32 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I'm also going to start my Windows 7 and uh, its network card is local only so the only thing it'll connect to is other virtual machines that also have a local only network card the uh, IP cop is really ticking along here it'll be up in a minute or so This IP cop will act as a uh, default gateway for me. It's a weird boop. Boop. Uh, this will uh, can also act as a web caching server. You don't actually log into it this way. I uh, configured its IP address while I was installing it. It's running off of uh, 4 gigabytes of hard drive. Although it's only using half a gigabyte hard drive and 32 megs of RAM 32 megs of RAM is the bare minimum it'll be maxed out at about 90 percent that way on RAM so the benefit of this is is I get a gateway on my virtual network while I'm playing with my virtual machines but I don't have to uh, I don't have to dedicate a lot of RAM to it like I would with an ISA server or a uh, another server running routing and remote access so, control alt delete log in. Uh, this Vista, or this Windows 7 already has a static IP address assigned to it in the uh, 10 range. It's a slash 8 subnet mask. The uh, IP address of my IP cop is uh, 10.0.0.254, the last one. In a, well, I guess it's not the last one in the range, but um, so we need to pull up the uh, network and sharing center. And I need to configure my network interface to use the IP cop as my default gateway. You can see that there's problems with the network, so change adapter setting. Right click, properties. TCP IP. Version 4 properties. That's the IP address 10.0.0.7. Uh, that's um, that's actually the server 2008 that I was messing with. And uh, I'm going to put the IP cop also as DNS just for fun. And you can actually watch Vista repair itself. It's got the yellow there. But uh, unidentified network. A little scared. Fist is going to want a confirmation. Yep, it's home network. Work network would work as well. But now uh, my Vista machine will be able to connect to the internet through the virtual IP cop. So, and that's how we're going to configure the IP cop interface and look around a bit. It's already configured. It's running. You'll see that it's going to go to MSN because it's the first time I fired up Internet Explorer, I think, on this machine. And it's going to want me to confirm all the uh, accelerators and whatnot. But I'm just going to cancel out of that. Now, uh, IP Cop is only accessible through the LAN interface, the local network, not the wide area network. I've uh, tried it on the wide area network and uh, 
It may be, but why would you want people on the internet to access your firewall? So, uh, HTTP S for HTTP secure colon slash slash and the IP address of the machine the IP cop machine that is and then uh, port 445 that's not the default port for uh, HTTPS so it's nice they changed that and uh, there's a security error yeah we'll continue anyway and I'm connected you can see it says IP cop up there this is a lot of what the website looks like so uh, there's updates available and I need to log in with my admin password that I set up during the install process but uh, I can download the update and uh, then install it right here so download Not really sure where the download went. Well, I can do that later. But the idea is I can download it and then uh upload it later. There it goes. Save. Ah, there we go. That was fast. Browse desktop. I'm not really sure where that file went. in my downloads. There it is. and upload it says it's not an authorized update well that's fine so uh, I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back here on part three